This is Twit. What can I do for you? Well, I've spent the last 15 years in office administration and clerical, and uh, now I'm looking, in the, uh, looking for some new work, and I wanted to break into IT. I've got a bunch of friends that I've talked to to kind of do a little surface research on certifications, but I'd love to know which ones you think would be good for me to get into entry-level support. Yeah, and so that's the first thing is what part of IT do you want to work in? IT is a very broad term, and it's everything from, uh, you know, setting up networks, sysadmins, security. Uh, and But you said one part of it, uh, which is actually an important part, probably the part you see the most when you're working, which is the support guy, the IT support person. Do you want to be somebody in an office or you want to be on the phone? How, how, what, what kind of thing do you want to do? Either. I mean, of course, with the circumstances, I, I would like to have an option of some remote work. But um, I, you know, the, the work that I've done, there's always been an element of call Cameron to fix yeah. that. Fill in the blank. So you're already halfway there. Yeah. Yeah. So the I first thing I think for this, the basic one is the A plus cert. That's from CompTIA, C O M P T I A. And so the reason these certs exist, everybody knows, <laughs> every IT person knows that it really isn't a good measure of how good an IT person you'll be. But you don't have any experience. You know, five years experience would be the best thing, but how do you get the first five years? They have these tests, and you pass the test, and you show at least that you have certain knowledge. Although I have to say often the knowledge that you learn for some of these tests is either outmoded or ne you'll never use it. Nevertheless... You know, it's an imperfect system, but this is, it's the, it's the, it's all we got. And then if you're looking for an entry-level job, they'll often be looking at, well, do you have some certs? And the, the key is to get the certification in the, as I said, in the area that you want to work in. For support, the basic cert is A+, plus, the A+, plus cert. Uh, and, it, and it's, you know, it's a base-level certification. Uh, I would say the ability to, it's, it's, you know, take that test and pass it is a great start. There are several ways you can learn the content. There are certainly, you know, nowadays everything's on YouTube. There are certainly plenty of online videos that you can f use for free. You can go uh, online to Amazon and there'll be CompTIA uh, books, manuals. Those you want because at least those will give you an idea of what the questions are going to be. In fact, practice tests are really great, as with any tests. I don't know if you when you were in, in school, if you took the SATs or any any uh, any of those uh, achievement tests, that's how you got into yeah, college. Yeah, yeah, I was able to go to remember Barnes and Noble. Yeah, uh, and uh, <laughs> and get some. Yeah, you get books. books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So similar to that, they, they say you can't study for the SATs. You can definitely study for the A plus because it's all factual. It's not, you know, you know, uh, if a car is leaving the station at the 533 and traveling at 25, it's none of that stuff. It's all very factual stuff that you need. And some of it is oddball, which is why you really want to you want to do it. Now, once you get the A+, plus, you might want to, you might well want to take a couple of others uh, because of course, if you have two or three certs, a future prospective employee is going to say, "Oh, I like this." I like this. So, so basic computer support is A+. Plus. Uh, CompTIA folks have a lot of other certifications besides A+. Plus. You might look at those. There's Network Plus for networking. There's Security Plus for security. There's infrastructure. There's, um, you know, cloud, maybe. You know, it just depends what you want to do, right? I mean, it's a broad field. I have to say, it's also a really good field right now. Uh, the economy is tanking in so many ways. And, but IT, especially now, the ability to keep the servers running and the networks going is super important. So I think this is a great field to get into right now. So you could get books at the bookstore. You can watch videos online. There's also schools. I don't usually recommend the technical schools. They tend to be very expensive. Uh, but there are online technical schools. We have a sponsor, ITPro.TV, that's very good. Um, that, that is a little less expensive and maybe it just really depends how you learn. If you need to have an engagement, that kind of thing, I'd look at those. But boy, good luck because that's a great field. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.